Radio Shouty. Speaking of TikTok, though, when your music transitions from all of those times and then it hits TikTok and go damn crazy, what goes through your mind when you see that y'all are still making that same impact on a modern day But that's culture? what goes back to the, la- the other question you asked when you say, do I get the credit or mm. whatever? Like, and because I could, I could stuff that, that I've been a part of yeah. versus some of those other people who do get the credit. Yeah, and because their brand might be, they they're not as relevant to the culture now. Okay, so now this spins me off into a whole nother question then, because see, I understand what it is that you did and what you bring to the game. How can somebody else who didn't, you know, bring as much as you did to this game get more credit than somebody that actually put it? Because I never stood on top of a table. Uh, but see, why that, should you have it. to? No, that, I'm, no. I'm so why, you why should you have to stand on top of a table that, though? You should. A, that music did that. That's just the way the world worked, man. And you have to uh, see. I'm okay with that. Some okay. niggas don't be okay with that. Okay. So they they say, no, nah, nigga, it ain't happening like this. <laughs> I did this. This nigga ain't did shit. Give me my. If it wasn't for me, this nigga wouldn't even be here. <laughs> you know, that's how some niggas. I never did that. Okay. I never did that. Because to me, if you want to, like, Jermaine Dupree. Yeah. And, and he gets his credit or whatever. Mm-hmm. But when you start talking about the Puffies and the, the, the Dr. Dre's. Yeah. He's on that fucking Mount Rushmore. That's true. But a lot of times, he don't get mentioned. They don't talk. Just go look at the, Why the Mariah that, Carey's and the, and the fucking uh, 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 Ushers. And yeah. Let alone... and. Those two projects, he didn't wasn't even signed to him. Yeah. You got the label shit that he did, the yeah. remixes, the production and all. Exactly. Look. Um some If you stand on top of the table and demand your respect, a lot of it, respectfully, a lot of times you'll get it and people will know or whatever. I just never did that and I'm okay with it. It's not like I'm sitting back mad about yeah. it. Yeah. If, if I was out see, here, I don't feel like you mad about it. I'm mad about it. You I see know what I'm a lot saying? Of it makes like me mad when I see that kind of stuff because I know what people. I know I judge the comp- uh, the contributions that people make to music based off of my life story. Okay. Okay. So if I'm living my life story and I'm thinking, you know, drop like this, I recall that. I'm thinking Yin Gang Twins, the best party damn time of my life while I was in college. I'm thinking Soldier Boy, I was just getting on the radio, kiss me through the phone, crank that was doing this thing. Right. I'm remembering these impactful times. And then I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute, nigga, now you done spanned a few decades with this and uh you got to thank Carly Park today. I'm hell, I'm telling you, nigga, I'm riding in the car with my wife. And I'm riding to the damn five o'clock. I'm like, right. this nigga's still living with us. Right. So talk to me about that. Just, you know, the longevity in your career, man. And then actually being able to make it a career from something that you just had a passion for. Well, I'm right back DJing right now. Ooh. And so it's always been about the music. So for everybody else, even if it might start there, yeah. it turns into something else. Mm. And that's when they lose sight. Mm-hmm. Of it and saw it thinking that it, it is what it ain't, mm. you know. So at the end of the day, um, when I rediscovered DJing, mm-hmm. the passion that I've always had started there. So I'm at a 360 right now. Thanks. And so you hear when you when you in the car listening to my mixes, you hearing that love that inspired everything. Yeah. Working with the likes of Jeezy, what was it like working with him? Um. I was I was so in a zone at that time. Ooh. It was just like, um, he knew what he wanted, mm-hmm. so it's easy to work with people who know what they want. Yeah, and so I pretty much did the beat. He wrote the record. I don't. Even, I wasn't even there when he wrote the record, but I remember we, when we came back together during the mix. Yeah, of the record. That's when the collaboration and and. And, and the the arrangement of Trap Star, I remember yeah. that being like almost a disaster. Damn. But uh, but I learned that when a when an artist wants what an artist wants, let them have it. Mm. And that was before a Soldier. Yeah. So when an artist gets 
to where they at based off the, what they doing, mm -hmm. you don't have to be. I learned that you don't have to be a Jermaine Dupree. Yeah. I ain't got to go on there and say so, so deaf on everything that I touch. Mm -hmm. So I took that approach when I signed Soldier. I didn't go in and produce his whole album. He did it because that's how I found him. Damn. I just polished it. Mm -hmm. I got in there with my goddamn, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> my old one and my goddamn kaboom, you know what I mean? Yeah. Cleaned it up. When you see Soldier, man, and he hauled off and just blew all the way up and he was just for that he brought you into a whole new demographic and a younger demographic and reinvigorated the whole brand yeah, all together he did what that. was that like when you saw him take all the way off and did you think he was gonna be as big as he turned out to be yeah after after i committed yeah yeah i wouldn't okay. have done it if because i was taking a chance yeah some might have thought mm -hmm. but once i committed i saw what it was yeah you know what i mean and Come to find out, I wasn't the first one who saw it. Ooh. But I was the smartest one who saw it. My God. Yeah. So it, that was a collaboration between what he brings to the table. It was a perfect collaboration. Mm -hmm. Like Bill Belichick and Tom Brady. Yeah. That's what that was <laughs> for two albums. <laughs> what caused y'all to uh, split and go separate ways? Why didn't y'all just keep the party going? Because y'all was winning. It was a, uh, honestly, it was some business stuff, and then he was maturing. Okay. You know what I mean? And, and you see how he is. Yeah. He want to do shit the he way he want to do it. And, and, you know, a lot of that didn't have nothing to do with the music. So, you know, you, you put those two things together. I respected him. He respected me. And so uh, we just went our separate ways. 